For the first time, a baby has been born using a new three-person fertility technique. American doctors say the baby boy has the usual DNA from his mother and father, plus an element of genetic code from a donor. Well, the process allows the baby to be free of a condition that his mother carries in her genes, and they say it could help other families with rare genetic conditions. As our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, reports. A world first in genetics and IVF, carried out by American doctors in Mexico, a country chosen because there are no laws there to prevent it. The baby's face has been blurred because his parents, from Jordan, want to remain anonymous. He's now five months old and is said to be healthy. This technique is aimed at preventing often fatal genetic diseases from being passed on. The nucleus of the mother was removed, leaving behind the faulty DNA in these structures known as mitochondria. It was put into a second woman's egg containing only healthy mitochondria. This was fertilized. The embryo had all the key genes from the parents, plus a tiny amount of DNA from the donor, which is now in every one of the baby boy's cells. It's actually quite a significant moment. It's really the proof of a long process that has really was initiated in the UK in terms of public and parliamentary debate and a lot of the science showing that you can apply these technologies and ultimately produce a healthy baby at the end. Three-person IVF is legal in the UK. It's just not been done yet, but this team in Newcastle is close to applying for a license to use a slightly different technique to that in Mexico. Among those hoping to benefit are Victoria and Keith. Their daughter Jessica has a serious inherited genetic disorder. They would like treatment to ensure a second child would be healthy. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. Well, the doctor responsible for carrying out this landmark treatment is Dr. John Zhang. Here he is holding the world's first baby that has been born using that three-person fertility technique. And I'm pleased to say that we can now speak to Dr. John Zhang, who joins us now live from New York. Welcome to the program. How did that moment feel for you? We just saw the picture of you holding the baby. Just tell us how you felt. And uh, we still cannot believe it's a reality because it's almost become a process for the last 20 years to aim this moment. But when this moment came, we just couldn't believe it. It's a reality. Mitochondrial donation, this three-person fertility technique. For those people that don't know, just tell us very briefly how it works. Well, you use a technique, it's called a nuclear transfer. So basically, each cell consists of two parts, cytoplasma, such as egg white, and a nuclear such as egg yolk. So this technique is a swamp the egg yolk from one egg to another egg to let the good healthy egg white to help the egg yolk, which has a real DNA, which determine who you are, who we are, and who we are, and to carry on the, uh, the new life. Your team had to travel to Mexico to carry out this procedure because there are no laws there to prohibit this. It is a very controversial technique. Uh, some would say that, in essence, you're playing God here, creating some kind of a genetic order baby, a, a manufactured uh, source, if you like. What would you say to that? Uh, I would like to make a two points. First of all, the, I ask, answer the second question first. Uh, we are not really a plate of God, but you know, in the human reproductive life, we do uh, in vitro fertilization, we do pre-implantation genetic screen tests. So we are doing many things are very similar. Uh, and to answer the first question, uh, New Hope Fertility Center have clinics in Mexico and New York. And for this part of the project, we are just are located to the uh, Mexico City. This is just our clinical and strategic uh, plan. This baby the world's first that has been born was born to a Jordanian family where the family had already experienced the heartache of four miscarriages as well as the death of two children, one at eight months and the other at six years of age. This procedure, groundbreaking though it is, is there a 100% guarantee for the health of this baby now? Well, we cannot say it's 100% guarantee, but from the, all the measurement and from the baby development, uh, it's uh, very, very promising the baby will live a normal, healthy life. And uh, since this is a boy, 
and the baby will not uh, uh, pass along any mitochondrial DNA, DNA to the next generation. So there is no indication in this child of the Lee syndrome that was the genetic disorder that the mother was carrying down to each child. That child does not have this? Uh, not at all. And as a, as a matter of fact, the mother even can feel that the baby is completely different. It's a happy, lovely boy and uh, it's just a, a very happy moment. So what happens now, Dr. John Zhang? What, what is the next baby that could be born to this treatment now? Is there lots of trials taking place? Well, you know, we, we know that uh, there are thousands of this kind of family needs help. And, and of course, there are many alternatives, but I think this is definitely one approach and it can be uh, in the near future uh, become uh, uh, available uh, in internationally. So we hope that uh, with our colleagues around the world, we can really help more families to have their dreams come true. Well, what a title to have, a three-person baby technique pioneered by yourself and the team. Dr. Zhang, thank you for sharing your insights with us. Thank you.